Welcome to CTPAT Security Services Employee and Contractor Security Training. Employees and contractors must be made aware of the company's supply chain security program as part of the hiring process or the orientation process. Employees and contractors must be instructed to notify senior company management immediately upon the discovery of any security breach or any activities they think might be suspicious or illegal. Employees and contractors must be trained in the supply chain security procedures that affect their duties or their job descriptions. The training should include a test or a quiz to measure the comprehension. Employees and contractors must have supply chain security related refresher training annually and that training should include a test or quiz to verify their comprehension. Employee contractor training must be documented. Copies of the employee training documentation and records including the tests and training certificates should be kept on file. Consistent with foreign, federal, state, and local regulations, background checks and investigations must be conducted for prospective employees. When allowed by local laws, background checks should include a seven-year criminal history check. In addition to background checks, pre-employment screening for potential employees and contractors must also include verification of the work history and reference checks. Employees and contractors are responsible for following the policies and procedures set forth in a company's supply chain security procedures and they should be subject to disciplinary action up to and including termination for failure to follow these procedures. Companies must reserve the right to conduct post-employment investigations on employees and contractors based on cause or the sensitivity of the employee or contractor's position. Should management be informed or suspect that an employee or contractor has provided false information during the hiring process, an investigation must be conducted to verify the information and then the appropriate action should be taken. Upon the termination of an employee or contractor, whether that termination was voluntary or otherwise, an extensive exit procedure must be followed to ensure that the terminated employee or contractor has returned all company property. Computer passwords and access codes must be changed upon termination of an employee or contractor, whether that termination was voluntary or otherwise.